If you are on a Windows operating system and have run into an error where typefaces and fonts you have added through your Creative Cloud Adobe Fonts account just don't appear in your Adobe apps or even non-Creative Cloud apps like Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, this video will walk you through how to fix the issue. For example, you can see that in my Creative Cloud app, I have these fonts synced to my system. But when I go to Adobe InDesign or even Microsoft Word, these fonts aren't available. What is happening is Windows has restricted the use of the font, just like it would an untrusted font. It'll take a few steps, but we will have you up and running in no time. But before we do that, let's double check that this is what's happening on our system. Let's check the core sync file in our temp directory. You can get to this directory by going to the username, app data, local, temp, creative cloud, and then to core sync. Now we need to get to the latest core sync file. Once we find that, all we need to do is open it in a text editor. I'll just use Notepad. This way we can search for a specific keyword. Add font resource EX. And if we hit Find Next, we have a match. And here we can see that the code equals zero and the fonts have failed to activate. Okay, we have confirmed the error. Let's get it fixed. We need to make sure that there isn't anything blocking the font enablement from the administrative end. So let's make sure our settings are correct. Now make sure that you have administrative rights. And if you're not sure, check with your IT administrator. Okay, now go to the group policy editor. I like to go to the start button and then search GP edit. And here it is, let's open it. All right, now we'll go to computer configuration and then we go to administrative templates. Now that we're inside administrative templates, we'll go to System. Then inside System, scroll down, and we will go to Mitigation Options. Here we have this feature named Untrusted Font Blocking. If we double-click, we have three options, Not Configured, Enabled, and Disabled. In this case, it is set to Not Configured, so there's no need to make any changes here. Had it been enabled, then we would have had to disable it and then reboot the system. Now that we don't have anything blocking fonts in our administrative settings, we can go in and configure the registry editor. And just a note, it's always a good idea to back up your registry before you make changes, just to be on the safe side. To get to the registry editor, I like to go to the start and then go to regedit and run as administrator. This will open the Windows registry. Now we will go to hkey underscore local underscore machine and then system. Here we need to go to current control set, then navigate to control. Here we can search for session manager and then kernel where we can expand mitigation options. Perfect. Now notice that the base is set to hexadecimal and the value is set to one, which means that the feature is turned on. But we need to set this to two, which will turn off the feature. And just to note, if we wanted to audit the feature, we could change the value to three, but in this case, we want to set it to two. Now that these changes are done, all we need to do is reboot our system. And once we've rebooted, you can see we have access to the fonts we were missing before in InDesign. Keep in mind that this is an issue only with Windows operating systems. If you have any other questions, just reach out to us at Adobe. Thanks.